I wish to share with this House a proposal that seniors and those with disability be furnished with a concession card that will allow them to ride public transportation free of charge. The proposal that I had explicitly states that the subsidy should be borne by MOT expenditures, not by other riders. So he spent quite a bit of time, uh, I felt, uh, attacking a little bit of a straw man. Now, it is fair to say that 300, billion, uh, 300 million and 400 million is not uh, chump change, but as I also mentioned in my speech, uh, we should be clear that this is about 3 to 4 percent an increase in the ministry's budget, not. Uh, when you said it within context. When Associate Professor James Lim suggests making public transport free for seniors and persons with disability, we understand where he is coming from, yet don't necessarily agree with where he suggests we go. When a proposal is made that will incur three, four hundred million dollars more a year, I don't think that's being, you know, when we raise questions about that, I don't think that's being penny wise and pound foolish. I think it's all about big pounds that are at stake. Let me start by saying it's uh, not exactly a straw man argument at all, because fundamentally there is a need to explain where the money is going to come from. Uh, by the member's estimates, I'm not saying that I agree with his estimates, but his estimate is three to four hundred million dollars. And then he says it's three to four percent of the, of the ministry's budget. Uh, I would urge you to look at the budget carefully. The ministry's budget of $11 billion includes two-thirds, which is development expenditure. What you are proposing is a recurrent operational subsidy of three to four hundred million dollars. So in other words, it is on the lower base that we should be looking at. And specifically, the ministry's operating budget in the last couple of years has been increased because of COVID-specific measures. So if you discount that further, what you're actually proposing is an increase in the subsidies, if I use the $2 billion reference point, of about 25%, 20 to 25%. That is a significant increase. But I think then we should also, to be intellectually rigorous, also examine where the member and his party stand when it comes to sources of revenue. Because you have to square the circle. Last year, we increased uh, fair revenue. And I know that uh, the leader of the opposition made a point about how fair revenue has, I mean, fares have increased and that's contributing to cost of living. In other words, the Workers' Party looks askance at increases of fares. And yet, we are also arguing for spending more. And where do we come from? Well, from the government revenue. But we also take a dim view of, or the, the member and his party take a dim view of several of the revenue sources that have been proposed by the finance minister. So we have to square the circle. And it's by no means a straw man.